Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this A2 top folding card that you see there on the screen. I'm going to be using the amazing Fancy Frosting Stamp and Coordinating Die Set, as well as one of the layering balloon stencils from this stencil set. Here you can see I have the stencil set on my desk, and what I'm going to do is just use the smaller balloon stencil of the two stencils in that set. I'm going to adhere a piece of vellum down to my table here with some sticky grid, and then tape the stencil that I'm going to be using over top of the vellum. Now what I want to do here is use some gold ink to uh, create the stencil for stenciling for the balloons. So I'm just going to blend that gold ink over top of the stencil onto the vellum and it's just going to create this really pretty shimmery balloon gold balloon effect on my vellum. I really love how this works out. I think it's just a really nice subtle but pretty background for the card that I'm going to be creating today. So here you can just see I'm blending through that stencil all over the entire surface onto the vellum that's uh, underneath. And this is a really quick and simple technique to create just a really fun effect. There's so many ways to use this balloon layering stencil set. I have used it quite a few times already here to make cards in my space and I'm just loving how it can be used in so many different ways. So just going to continue blending that ink on making sure that I have the entire surface of my vellum covered with balloons. And the vellum is actually smaller than the six by six stencil so I'm not using all of the different uh, areas here of the stencil but I'm just making sure that I'm covering the entire surface of my vellum and I am going to be cutting this vellum out for my card front so I'm not too worried about how perfect the outer edges of the balloons are here on the stencil because this is going to be a just an A2 size card front here and I'm going to be using my scallop A2 card frames honey cuts to cut out this vellum. So you can just see I'm finishing that up. This is a super, like I said, super simple and easy process to blend ink through those stencils. And here you can just see the gorgeous effect of that metallic gold ink on the vellum with those balloons. So beautiful, you could use this for a ton of different occasions. Now with my A2 card frame die, what I did was I, um, I used that largest die there to cut out my balloon panel. So I'll just, I'm just going to show you that panel there now. So it's really nice and pretty. And I also used the largest scallop A2 card frame there to cut out a border. So what I did was I cut that entire piece out of white cardstock. And then I just took my, my knife here, my, um, just my tool, my cutting tool here. And I just cut around the edge of the frame on the dotted line, the faux stitching line of that die cut. And it just creates this really perfect little frame for the front of my card that is going to line up perfectly with the scalloped edge on that vellum. So I'm going to just set that aside now and do some stamping. Now I'm going to use some of the stamps from the Fancy Frosting stamp set. Such a beautiful set. There's so many things um, you could do with this set as well. There's so many fun images on that in that stamp set. I'm going to treat a piece of A2 size uh, cardstock. This is some Nina Solar White cardstock. Just treating that with my anti-static powder tool there because I am going to do some heat embossing. So I've got this in my mini Misty here. I'm going to ink up my images with some clear embossing ink. And then I'm going to run some gold embossing powder over top of that clear ink that I have stamped out on my cardstock. And that's going to reveal the images that I'm going to be using from that stamp set. I'm going to melt the gold ink with my heat tool and then I will die cut these all out with a coordinating die set. So the Fancy Frosting stamp set does have a coordinating die set as well. Those are sold separately and there are dies for all of the images that are in that set, which I love, including the sentiments that are part of that set. The sentiment cheers and happy birthday in that set that are perfect for lots of different occasions as well. Now I'm also going to be using another sentiment set from Honeybee for the sentiment for my card that you'll see me use here in a little bit. Uh, it's from a different stamp set that I will be showing you here in a couple of minutes. So here you can just see I've die cut all of those images out with that coordinating die set. So I'm just going to release all of those different die cut pieces there from my paper. And once I'm done that, I will be ready to go on with the next step. You can just see here, I've got the, had those all taped 
onto the cardstock and have die cut those with my Gemini and just going to take those all apart and I'll be ready for using those to embellish my card. Now I am going to use some of the honeybee glue tube to adhere this scallop frame onto my vellum. So I'm just going to use a little bit of glue there. I'm gonna spread it out with my finger a little bit here too, just cause I didn't want it to ooze out of the edges onto my vellum. And you can just see here, I'm just gonna spread that on and then I will place that onto the vellum and it fits perfectly. Obviously it's cut from the same die. So it just works out really, really well. Um, just having used my craft knife to cut away that center part of that white cardstock. Now I'm going to use some 3L foam strips here to adhere this vellum piece onto my A2 size top folding card base. Um, these are fantastic, these little foam strips for this purpose exactly. They just fit perfectly on the back uh, edging of that scallop frame. And this just gives some really nice dimension and space between the vellum and the card base. I really like how that looks, especially with the vellum. And it just, you can just see how pretty those balloons are now on that card front. Now I am going to use, of course, all of my die cut pieces to create my cake on the front of my card. And I'm going to just show you how I'm gonna, I, this is sort of how I was thinking I'm, I'm going to place the flowers and the, the one leaf that I did die cut out onto the card. I, at first I wasn't really sure how I was going to place these, but just messing around with them, I thought this was the best placement. And then I'll show you, of course, how I'm going to, what sentiment I'm going to use for the card front. So this is basically how it's going to look. Now I do want to use this cake banner sentiment stamp set for my sentiment. Now, now that little banner that I have already stamped out with gold ink is part of the fancy frosting stamp set. The stamp set has uh, does have that banner stamp in it, which is perfect and it coordinates perfectly with the cake banner sentiment set. And now I've just got the word congratulations from the cake banner sentiment set placed in the right spot on that banner. And now I'm just going to ink it up and stamp it out with the gold ink again. So um, just loving, this is that same gold ink that I use to stencil the balloons. And I just love how that stamps out so nicely. And I'm gonna use the coordinating honey cut from the Fancy Frosting Honey Cuts to cut out that banner. Now I've cut a couple of tiny little strips of gold metallic paper. This is a Tim Holtz gold metallic paper. Just cut a couple of little strips of that and I'm going to use that for my cake topper. So this little banner is going to be attached to the top of the cake with these little gold metallic pieces. So I'll just use my honeybee glue tube to adhere those two little um, sticks to the back of the banner and I will eventually here and you'll see I'm going to put that onto the cake so that I can see how long I want those to be and I'll trim them off so that they're the perfect length for my cake topper. So I'm just going to get those on there. Now I'm just going to put it onto the cake and make a tiny little indentation in that metallic paper with my pencil so I know where I wanna trim that up. Now I'm gonna start putting this all together and I want to pop up my cake onto my cake um, tray, that, that's not the right word, the cake plate with the, or the cake stand, I guess, the cake stand with some foam adhesive and the cake stand is also going to have foam adhesive on it. So the cake is going to be pretty dimensional but um, I do use pretty flat adhesive for my little flowers and embellishments that are gonna go on my cake. So here you can just see I am going to continue to add more foam adhesive to the back of my cake here. I, I'm just kind of trying to sort out the position at this point of the cake so that I know that I have enough space at the top for my cake topper. So I just wanna make sure before I take the backing off of my foam adhesive here that I have the cake far enough down on my card front so that there is room for that cake topper. That's kind of crucial, right? I don't want my cake topper off the top of the card. So here you can just see I'm eyeballing the positioning of everything. And once I'm happy with where that is going to be, I'm going to just go ahead and take the release paper off the back of the foam adhesive and get that position down. And I am going to just eyeball the centering of the cake uh, from side to side. And I think it looks pretty 
centered when I'm all finished here. So you can just see here, I'm going to press that down. I will also put some foam adhesive on my cake topper as well. And just going to carefully press that down. And there's not really going to be any take see back sees <laughs> when you're using this foam adhesive. It's pretty sticky. So I do find that it's pretty important to make sure that you know where you want to put things before you take the backing off of that foam adhesive because mm, trying to get it off of there could be problematic. So I'm going to get that stuck down. I love this little cake topper. I think it's so cute. And the sentiments in the cake banner sentiments that are let's celebrate, congrats grad, happy birthday, and to the happy couple, as well as congratulations. So I thought this would be a really fun card for a wedding anniversary, for example. Um, I just thought, you know, maybe for a gold wedding anniversary, that sort of thing, because it is in gold, obviously. I thought that might be kind of fun. But wedding season is coming up, so this would also be a really beautiful wedding card as well. So here you can just see I'm placing those flowers back on to my cake. There's so many ways you could use the florals and the foliage that are part of that stamp set to decorate your cake. It's just kind of fun, right? I'm not a cake decorator in real life, um, far from it, but it's kind of fun to do this little embellishing on your little cake, I think. So here I just wanted to kind of go with a... Um, top side bottom kind of a thing so the triangle cluster idea and just kind of bumping your eye from the top of the cake down to the bottom and I am going to adhere those floral pieces with glue dots onto my cake I don't think I show that on camera just because it's just me sticking things down but I am going to stick them basically in exactly the place where you see me placing them here with my tweezers just to make sure that I have them where I want them and I just want to make sure that the florals are all kind of like a little bit off the edge of the cake so that it doesn't mess with the integrity of the look of the cake. I really love how this turned out. I think it was really super fun to make. I hope you enjoyed seeing the different techniques I use to create my fancy frosting cake. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to check the description box below for links to all of the products that I use today. Stay safe, stay well, and I will see you next Friday. Bye-bye.